I'm hoping that we can now speak to the Managing Director of the UN Technology Bank, Joshua Setipa. Um, Joshua, if you can hear me, I'm just going to crack on with my question and hope that, that, that it's all clear with the connection. Um, I'm wondering then, how can we um, ensure that medicines, once they are available, vaccines, etc., are available on an equitable, ba uh, equitable basis, uh, you know, across the world? Well, thank you, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. We, as a technology bank, we are an implementing partner of the Health Technology Access Pool and are working very well uh, with the with the WHO, with the UNDP, and also with UNCTAD in launching the Technology Access Partnership, which seeks to address some of these challenges that we've had uh, so well articulated today. One of the realities is that uh, having the, the, the technology available is one step. But where the challenge remains is how do you then transfer or transform that technology into actual capacity to produce and be able to meet the demand that we see uh, that uh, countries are facing today. And what we are doing uh, we, we, as a technology access partnership is to create a platform that connects technology holders with technology seekers and provide also support to be able to transform that technology uh, that is available into actual capacity to produce. We are also uh, working with uh, to, 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 to ensure that there is also capacity that will not only allow countries to meet their current COVID-19 uh, uh, challenges, but also be able to be part of their post-recovery effort. And one of, the, one of the key areas of support that uh, we are providing to developing countries uh, is to also serve as a repository for these technologies, for data and for knowledge, and also to provide legal and policy support, which we know is very important uh, for, for technology-seeking entities and also to, participate, to facilitate these partnerships, which are very key. Uh, as we've heard from, from our colleagues from, the, from civil society, this is an effort that requires all stakeholders on board. Otherwise, then there will always be gaps. And we know where there are gaps. The poor countries or least developed countries are the ones that fall behind. Thank you very much.